Have you ever wondered why giraffes have those peculiar horn-like structures on their heads and what exactly they are called? Today we're diving into this fascinating topic to uncover the mysteries of these unique features found on one of the savannah's most iconic animals. But before we explore the mysteries of those intriguing growths that crown the heads of giraffes, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon for more fascinating videos like this one. First things first, let's address what these horns are actually called. They're known as ossicones. Unlike horns in other animals, ossicones are covered in skin and fur and are made of bone. Giraffes are born with ossicones already formed, but they are not upright and rigid. Instead, these structures are soft and lie flat against the skull to prevent injury during birth. As they grow, these ossicones fuse with the skull and become upright. Interestingly, all giraffes have ossicones, both males and females, though they tend to be larger and more pronounced in males. Now, considering the function of similar structures in other animals, you might naturally associate ossicones with the deer antlers, or horns found on creatures like buffaloes or rhinos, typically used for defense or combat. However, in the case of giraffes, it might seem impractical or even dangerous. For them to use the ossicones as their defense against predators such as lions. And in fact, their primary defense against predators isn't their ossicones, but their powerful kicks. Given their long legs and the strength behind each kick, it's an incredibly effective way to ward off threats. So, this raises the question, what purpose do the ossicones serve? The truth behind ossicones is that they play a crucial role in giraffe social interactions, particularly among males. When male giraffes compete for the attention of females, they engage in a behavior known as necking. Forget any romantic notions of necking. In the giraffe world, it's less about whispered sweet nothings and more about the males demonstrating brute strength by battling each other as they use their necks to show off for the ladies. This involves swinging their long necks and using the weight of their heads and ossicones as a battering ram against their opponents. The impact of these blows can be quite powerful, and the strength and endurance shown during these bouts often determine the victor. This form of combat is a unique aspect of giraffe behavior and highlights the importance of ossicones beyond mere ornamentation. They are tools for establishing dominance and securing mating rights, so the next time you see these majestic creatures, remember that their ossicones are not just quirky features, but are integral to their survival and social structure. Through this exploration, we can see how even surprising aspects of an animal's anatomy can have a purpose, often linked to their environment and behavior. The giraffe's ossicones are a perfect example of this intricate connection between form and function in the animal kingdom. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.